Good afternoon, everybody. It's Josh here from Looking for Games. It's Friday, April 15th, 2022, and it's time for this week's weekly update. Jumping into the schedule this week, as I mentioned, we will be closed for Easter Sunday, but we will be back next week with a full week schedule, including our next slate of Looking for Adventure. Reports have been coming in of disturbing uh, disturbances in the Nellander Isles in the Trackless Sea, and in this adventure, you'll be assigned to investigate as DM Steve continues his story campaign, Sea Spire. For game night this week, on Wednesday for game night, I am very excited to announce the return of Board Game Architects. Uh, and instead of having one feature game, we're going to have three designers coming in to introduce brand new games that they are currently in playtesting. Uh, Bob and Ryan Craig from One Day West Games, uh, Michael Pitry from Pentry Games, and a brand new game in development from Mike Crandall called Chemical Overload. So three new uh, titles at the very least to work on. So you'll have an opportunity to come in, play these games, and actually give feedback. And I think it's really exciting uh, for us as well as for the designers to, to get that valuable feedback that they need to not only streamline their games, but to... Uh, you know, make sure that all the mechanics that they're they're using in a game always uh, work out. Um, been involved in a couple of these, and uh, I'm very uh, very excited to be able to bring this back. It's it's been gone for a little while, and uh, hopefully this will be a, a a regular thing that we do uh, for game night board game architects on Wednesday. As I mentioned, we also have pre release event. Weekend coming up on the 22nd on Friday, we'll be kicking off the first session for the Magic the Gathering Streets of New Capena. Now, we still have spots available for all four sessions. Uh, we have Friday night at 7, uh, 2 o'clock on uh, two events, I should say, on Saturday at 1 and 7 p.m. And then on Sunday, a two-headed giant event also at 1 p.m. And uh, you can see everything that we have available uh, as well as the new product that we'll have available for pre-release. And we'll list those all in the comments below. New in stock this week from Games Workshop for Warhammer 40K, the Tyranids attack with brand new miniatures, including the Parasite More Tracks and Combat Patrol. We're also gonna have the new codex for the Tyranids as well as data cards and dice sets. And those are all available tomorrow, but you can pre-order them today at lookingforgames.com. New in stock for Yu-Gi-Oh! The trading card game, the Albaz Strike Structure Deck. And uh, this structure deck centers around the Fallen of Albaz and their powerful fusion summoning effect. Uh, this is going to be a highly sought after new deck and stock is limited, so make sure not to wait on it. That's the Albaz Strike for Yu-Gi-Oh! Also new in stock, this just came in from Druid City Games, the makers of Grim Forest. This is a two to five player game, Wonderland's War. Something awful has happened. It'll be up to you to make everything right or wrong. In this case, you'll choose a faction, join a tea party and recruit members to your cause as you try to return the weird to Wonderland. This is a Kickstarter deluxe version and it comes with custom minis, custom bags and upgraded chip tokens. So you'll wanna check that out. Wonderland's War from Druid City Games. And finally, for Warhammer Age of Sigmar, the Season of War book, Thondia, and the Thondia Strongpoint Terrain Set. Again, these are going to be available starting tomorrow, but you can pre-order those today at lookingforgames.com. In the queue this week, today is the final day. If you'd like to join us for the Philadelphia Flyers Small Business Appreciation Night on April 29th, uh, the listing on our web store will be closed after today, and, and you don't want to miss out on this unique opportunity to join us for hopefully a fun night of hockey. Uh, special mention for looking for games uh, on their uh, on their video screen, as well as a commemorative collector's puck with the looking for games logo on it. So uh, this is something I'm excited and looking forward to, and hopefully you'll come out and join us. And we close out the update this week with some titles coming in very soon, including The Thing, the board game, uh, Don't Go In There, a new title from Asmodee called Flourish, Blood on the Clock Tower, and Azul Queen's Garden. Well, that's our update for this week. If you enjoy our content, please like and subscribe. Feel free to tell others about us because as I always say, you shouldn't be the only one to suffer. Thank you for watching and have a great day.